creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I'm uploading a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? I am bringing to you a DIY that I am so stinking excited about using these wood containers that the Dollar Tree is carrying. These are by Crafter Square. I hope your Dollar Tree has these because over the last few months, I have seen these in all kinds of styles. I've seen them with owls and pineapples, but I had never seen an apple. And I was kind of hoping something a little bit more rustic and country would show up. And so when I did see them, I didn't pick them up for the pineapple or I did pick them up for the owl, but I decided to do something a bit different with those. But when I saw this apple, I knew that the DIY that I had been holding out to make it was gonna happen using these wood apple containers. I picked up four of these for today's DIY, so let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into it and let me show you what I have in mind for these wood containers by Crafter Square from the Dollar Tree. You're gonna love this. For today's DIY, I'll be using four of the wood apples. I'm gonna start off by taking one of the four apples and I'm gonna remove the wood slats that are on each side holding the apples together. You've got the two slats on the side and you've got the base. I'm going to remove just the two sides, leaving the base so the apples are still together. And I found that the best way to remove this wood was to use some pliers. I did try to use a saw and it just wasn't effective. It didn't work well at all. And because this wood is just glued to the apples, it did come apart pretty easily. You can see that it just kind of rips apart, breaks apart. And so if you're just a bit gentle and you take your time, you'll get these two sides out pretty easily. Then I'm gonna take a piece of sandpaper. You don't wanna use too rough a grade with this wood because it is a very thin wood. So a lighter grade sandpaper is probably best. And I'm just gonna run it over the areas where the wood was just to smooth it out. Then I'm gonna take some of Apple Barrel's bright red acrylic paint and some burnt umber. This is a brown. And because this red is such a bright, vibrant red, I don't feel like it's very rustic and so I like to take colors like this and mute them out and you can mute them out and make them a bit more rustic just by adding a bit of brown to them. It's still going to keep its red tone but you're just kind of darkening it up making it not so bright and so when I do this I like to add just a little bit of brown. Don't go too heavy with it because then you'll turn it purple. Just add a little bit, and if you feel like your red is still a bit too bright, you can add just a touch more until you achieve the color that you like. And this will be the red that I paint all four of these wood apples with. I'm gonna give them a good couple coats because this is apple barrel paint that I'm working with. Usually when working with this paint, you do need about two to three coats to get full coverage. And since I can't get my hands on any Waverly paint, Apple Barrel is gonna work, it's gonna work just fine. We're just, like I said, gonna need to put a couple more coats on it to get the full coverage that I'm looking for. And just so I'm not being confusing, these are the three that are still whole apples and I'm gonna give these a good coat of the paint as well. When painting these apples, I wasn't too concerned about the leaf and the stem having full coverage on them because I am going to take some of the burnt umber brown that I used to mute out the red, and I'm gonna use that to paint the stem itself. And I'm gonna do this stem on the front and the back of both apples so it looks fully finished. And I'm gonna do that to all four of the apples. And the green that I'll be using for the leaves is Apple Barrel's English Ivory Green. Again, I'm using what I have on hand in my stash and I think that this is a perfect green because it's already muted out like the red is and so it's not anything that I needed to add brown to. If you're working with a green that's a brighter, vibrant green, 
you want to go ahead and mute that out with a bit of brown just so it kind of gives it that aged rustic look if you're going with that look. And again, I'm going to do the green leaves on the front and back side of each of the apples. And so this here is what you should be left with. Now I'm going to take these four apples and you know me, I like my rustic pieces to look aged and distressed and so to do that I will be using this acid free ink pad that I got from Michaels and Tim Holtz distress ink and this is in the color of ground coffee and I'm gonna use a mix of both of these using a paintbrush this is the easiest way to apply some aged distressed edges onto a DIY is just by using a paintbrush dipping it into your pigment your ink and just kind of doing some circular motions around the edges and so just by doing this you're going to add a completely different look to this that i'll show you once i've distressed this apple if you don't want to distress it you don't have to but i just think that it adds a bit of character it adds some dimension to it and gives it just i think a more aged rustic look and so I'm gonna do this to the apple, the leaf, and the stem. And I'm gonna do this on the front and back side of all four of my apples. I wanted to show you that I will be doing the inside of the apple too, giving those edges just a bit of distress just to give this piece a complete finished look. I wanted to show you the before and after with and without the ink. I personally just feel like it adds so much character dimension it gives it that rustic country look that I love so much and I really feel like there is a huge difference in the way these apples look just by adding a bit of the ink now taking some of this wood glue by crafter square I'm gonna add some glue to the inside edge of the apples that we left the wood on. You can see that these are the three whole apples that we didn't take the sides out of. So I'm gonna add a glue to the inside edge of these apples. And we're gonna glue the apples together just like you see me doing here. And that center apple is the apple that you wanna see the full apple and the side apples are gonna be tucked in right behind it just like you see here. I gave this about an hour to dry and so it's fully dry. Now on the sides here, I wanna add just a bit of Dollar Tree's decorative nautical rope. I love this stuff and I feel like it's gonna go perfectly with this. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna hot glue it to the insides of these two outside bins here. And I'm gonna choose the size rope that I want it to be. I don't want it to be very big. I'm really just looking to make this a decorative feature of this. It's not really gonna serve a purpose other than just adding the rope to it because I feel like these apples are missing something. One of my favorite hacks that you may have seen me do if you are not new to my channel, and if you are, this is a fun one, is to take the rope and tie a knot with it, and you want it to be a nice, good, tight knot. Once you've got that knot, you wanna leave a tail there. You're gonna cut your knot at the base of the knot here, as close to the knot as you can. Then taking some hot glue, you're gonna place just a bit of hot glue on this side, and glue it to the outside edge of the apples, right where you glued the rope to the inside of the apple, if that makes any sense. Giving it the illusion that your rope is coming through the wood and this is how the handle is attached. And so yes, if you have not guessed already, I am using these apples to hold my plastic utensils. Months ago when I saw those pineapples come out, I was just hoping that they'd come out with different fruits, especially an apple, because I knew that this was exactly what I wanted to do with them. This is definitely one of those DIYs that can be done to suit any decor style because there's such a variety of these wood bins by Crafter Square at the Dollar Tree. And yes, I will be using the apple that I cut the sides off of for napkins. And I wish I would have cut another one because it would have been perfect for paper plates as well. How stinking cute did this DIY turn out? And I feel like because summer is here, it is so perfect and suiting. And because I have a pool and we only use plastic out there, this is gonna be perfect for those spoons and knives and forks when we're barbecuing, 
with the family out at the barbecue and the kids are swimming. I think it's perfect and it's just such a fun set for your utensils, your napkins, and your plates. And it's one of those DIYs that can be done to suit any decor style just by simply getting creative, changing the paper or the fabric to suit your liking. I hope you all enjoyed today's DIY using these wood containers by Crafter Square at the Dollar Tree. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to, you guessed it, 5,000 likes because I know I'm back to it. I sound like a broken record, but each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. And bye for now, everybody. Stay safe and healthy.